and welcome back to another video. Today we will be crushing a starfish. It's a little bit pointier and it has a face unlike my other star video, but you can go check that other star crochet video too if you would like. And also before we go on with this video, I just want to mention that you can donate scarves, mittens, or beanies to help out those in need. I have links in my description box below if you would like to send something over to the people one thing can truly make a difference in someone else's life so please consider donating otherwise let's get on with so what you'll need for the starfish is the color for the main body of the starfish i will be using this purple next you'll need some black yarn only a little bit for the mouth then i will be using this 4.0 millimeter crochet hook but you use whatever is appropriate for your yarn We'll need a stitch marker, a knitting needle, some scissors, and some eyes. I will be using these 9mm eyes with the packings. You don't necessarily need the packings, you can just stick in the eyes once you're done with the starfish and then just glue it into place. Or you can use felt black felt and just cut it out into shapes of little circles to stick on. And this is optional, but I will be using this blush that I don't use. I just use it for dolls only that I make, just to uh, make some blush on the sides of the eyes. But yeah. So first what we're going to be doing is making a magic circle. So first, I'm going to this and chain one. Then I'm going to be doing five into this ring. This one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Tighten the ring. And now we're going to stick our hook into the very first stitch that we made into the circle. Mine is right here. I'm just going to try to wiggle my hook in there. Okay, there we go. And then here we're going to just do an increase into each one of the stitches. So that's my first stitch. Do another one in the same stitch. And then into the next one, do two again. And you're just going to do that all the way around. And by the end of this round, you should have 10 stitches in total since we're increasing into each of the five stitches. So here I have eight, nine, and then ten, and then eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So to start off round three, we're going to do a stitch and then increase. So we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. First, I'm going to make sure I have ten stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once you've done that, begin the next round. So first. Do one single crochet. I'm going to take my stitch marker, stick it in there, and then do an increase into the next stitch. And then into the next one, just do one single crochet, increase into the next. So I'm just going to be back after I do that all the way around. Next, for the fourth round, we're going to be doing one single crochet, increase, and then one single crochet. So this is a sequence. Thing that I explained in another video of mine 
where I explained a concept of making a perfect circle, so you can go check that out. Now here, I've already made one single crochet into the next one. You can increase. Then to the next one, just one single crochet. Repeat that sequence. So then to the next one, one single crochet. Then increase. And then one single crochet. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around. Into the next round. So this time we're going to be doing three single crochets and then increasing. I'm just going to mark the first stitch. And then we've already done one single crochet into the next one. Do one single crochet. Into the next one, one single crochet, and then increase. Repeat that again. So, one single crochet, two, and then three, then increase. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, so once you've done that, you should have 25 stitches in total. Now we're going to begin working on each of the little points of the star. So to start off, we're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch. Right there. Going to make a slip stitch. Then chain one. Now we're going to make five single crochets all the way across, but we're going to start the first one into the same one you just made a slip stitch into. So that's one, two, three, four, and then five. Chain one, and then turn the work. Now we're going to do five single crochets all the way across. So that's one, two, three, four, and then five. We're going to chain one and then turn our work again. So from here, we're going to start working decreases. So this might be a little difficult with the very first one. As you can see, this little loop right here is the chain one that we just made. So this right here is the chain one. This is the stitch we begin working with. So here, I'm just going to stick my hook into it, yarn over and pull through, stick my hook into the next one as well, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three. Next, just do one single crochet. And then we're going to decrease again, stick our hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, stick our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. So we should have three stitches now. You see one, two, three. Now we're going to chain one, and the single crochet into the next three into the next three. So that's one, two, and three. Chain one and then turn our work. Now from here we're going to do one decrease. So stick our hook into there, yarn over, pull through. So we're going to do the next one, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. Then just single crochet one into the last stitch. And then to wrap it up, we're just going to do one final decrease. So once you've done that, you can just slip stitch, pull out a decent length so that you can hide this piece of string. 
So I'm just going to cut about there and then put it there. Now we're immediately going to be working on, on the next point of the star. So to do that, I'm just going to take my yarn again, hold it like this, and then look for the next stitch besides the one I just did. So as you can see here, this is the one that I worked into already. So I'm just going to go into the next one right next to it, pull through, and then chain one. I'm going to crochet with this so I don't have to stitch it in with me later. So from here, working into the same stitch we just made a chain one into, I'm going to stick my hook through, do one single crochet, and then do four more. Four more single crochets into the next four stitches. So into the next one, that's two, that's three, four, and then five. So you should have five stitches in total. Chain one, turn our work, and then just do five single crochets into each of the stitches again. So that's one into the next, two, three, four, and then five. Chain one, turn our work. Now we're going to do a decrease. So stick our hook into the hook stitch, yarn over, pull through, into the next, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. Then do one single crochet into the next stitch. Then stick our hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, into the last one, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. Chain one, and just do three single crochets all the way across. That's one, two, and then three. Chain one, turn our work. We're going to decrease, so stick our hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, into the next, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. Then just do one single crochet, yarn over, and then for the last decrease, just yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three of them. And then chain one to make a slip stitch. And from here, we're going to again cut a decent amount to just hide the yarn later. So as you can see here, we've done two little points of the stars. You're going to do three more, again, to start work into the one next to the one you already worked into for the last point. So here you can see I worked into that one already. So I'm going to stick my hook into this one for the next point. So you're just going to repeat the process for each of them, for the points I've already demonstrated and just do it three more times. So I'll be back after I do the three more points. So I'm back after doing all the points. And now just to finish off this side of the star, I'm going to take my knitting needle. And hide some of the yarn to secure it. So I'm just going to stick it through the back and then weave it through the stitches. So I'm just going to go somewhere like this. Don't pull too tight. And then weave it again just to Secure it one last time. And I'm going to just bring it to the back area because I'm not going to cut it and I'm just going to try to keep it on the inside like this because I'm going to stitch another part on the back. 
these little pieces right here that will that might stick out you can cut but everything else I'm just going to tuck them into the middle as best as I can so I'm just going to repeat the hiding stitch process for all these other little tails and then you'll have one side finished so once you've done that, you can begin this whole process over again for the other side of the star. So I will be back with that as well. So here I have the other side of the star finished. I forgot to leave a long tail for one of them so I can sew them together. But I'm just going to work that out with my yarn. But first, we're going to take the eye and stick them into place. So I'm not going to be using tacky glue for this one, I'm just going to be using the backings of the eyes that came with this one. So I'm just going to take one of the sides and stick the eyes into the place that I want them to be. I think I'm okay with that being a little bit lopsided. I think it makes for a cuter look. And then I'm just going to take the backings of the eyes and stick them into place. The back of the star is a little messy because of all the tails, but um, I left them for the reason of just kind of using them as extra little stuffing. Now I'm just going to take one of the sides and I'll take my yarn here, stick my hook into one of the points of the stars, and just slip stitch one. And from here, I'm just going to take some scissors. And then cut a decently long tail enough to sew this together. Nope. So this one's also just going to go on the inside. And I'm going to take one of my knitting needles. And stick the end of this long tail through. And then I'm just going to match this up with one of the other ends and go back and forth between the two stars. Make sure to match it up really well so you don't like sew it lopsided. And don't pull too tight. Just tight enough to secure it. So I have one side of this point done, I'm just going to make sure to tuck everything perfectly inside. Then move on to the next point of the star. Match it up up here. Hold it in place. And then begin sewing.
So I will be back after repeating this up until this third point. I'm going to leave this area open just so I can finish the mouth and stuff and neaten up these strings. So I'll be back after I do to here. So I've made it to the third point. I've done these three so far. Left this little opening. I might need to get a longer tail to finish up this. So I'm just going to um, tie this with more of the yarn that I'm about to cut so I can finish sewing and then tuck it back in. But for now, for the mouth, I have this thin piece of black yarn. What I did was just take regular yarn and I just separated it by grabbing only two of the strands. And so I'm just going to take this, stick it into my knitting needle, and just stick it into where I want the mouth to start. This honestly takes a little bit of trial and error, like figuring out how you want your mouth to look and where you would like it to be. So I don't really want it there. I'm going to move it and just figure out you know, if I like that position. So what I'm going to do is like this little V-shaped mouth, which what I do is I stick it in one end, then I stick it into the other side of the, where I want the mouth to be. Then stick it into the middle point and make sure this you stuck get through the loop that you made between those two like that and then pull it so you have a little v-shaped mouth and if I, I think i'm okay with this position so what i'm going to do is just to get right back into the same hole where i stuck it through in the middle pull it out and just adjust the mouth a little bit here not pulling it too tight like that and then I'm just going to tie these two ends together to make sure it doesn't get loose and I'm just going to tuck this in here as well so there's a lot of just a mess of strings in line but if you could, well, didn't go through the mess of leaving all the tails out, you can just stuff it with stuffing. So here I have the mouth, and I'm just going to finish going all the way around and just using the same process how I attached this tail over here to do it again so I can finish up sewing. So I will be back after I finish sewing this entire starfish. So I've made it to the end. I sewed all the way. And just to secure this loop, I'm going to sew through this part one more time, just to secure it. And then from here, I'm going to wiggle my needle in through some of these little loops. And once I think I've done enough, I'm just going to pull it through. Not too tight, because we still want to keep the pointy shape. Then I'm going to stick it in the middle somewhere and then pull it out somewhere random. Then take my scissors and then cut it short. So my start is now finished. One final touch that I'm just going to do because I usually do this for most of my little balls. I have this blush that I don't use right here. And I just take it and dust a little bit on the side of the eye. Not too much because then it would be kind of weird looking. And once you've done that, 
you have your finished starfish. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Please consider donating to the sites that I have linked in my description box and on my about page on for my YouTube channel. Um, one scarf being your mitten can really make a difference in the lives of those who are less fortunate. So yeah, please consider donating and thank you for watching. Thank you.